all, in this section we are discussing about the soils of Kerala. Soil is a top layer of earth surface mainly formed due to the physical disintegration and chemical decomposition of rocks and it took millions of years to form one centimeter or one layer of soil. And soil formation depends upon many factors like topography, vegetation, bad material, time, hydrological conditions, agricultural practices, etc. Generally, soils in Kerala are acidic and gravel in nature. It has low water holding capacity, high phosphate fixing capacity. Based on the morphological and physical chemical properties, the soils in Kerala is divided into 10 broad classes by end center of Kerala. The first class is red long soil. It is mainly localized in the southern parts of Tiruvannathapuram district. It occurs along with laterite. It is mainly found at deposits by collimation in foothills and small hillocks. You may be familiar with the term collimation. It means it is the disintegration of debris and accumulation at the foothill or on the base of a cliff by the and by the action of gravity. And red color of the soil is due to the presence of hematite or unhydrous ferric oxide. The soil is acidic in nature and it doesn't have well-defined soil horizon. The soil is again characterized by the absence of organic matter and it is not fertile and it has low essential plant nutrients. The second class is lacturite soil. Lacturite and its allied soils cover 60% of the total geographical area of Kerala. Lacturite soil develops both under crystalline as well as in sedimentary rocks. It is mainly formed by the lacturization process. Lacturization process means the chemical weathering taking place under high temperature and high rainfall. The color of the soil is reddish brown to yellowish red. It has a well-defined B horizon. The organic matter is less. The cultivable crops in the soil include coconut, rubber, pepper, aliquot, banana, tapioca, and vegetables. This type of soil is mainly found in northern districts like Kannur and Katsurgo. The third broad category is alluvial soil. Alluvial soil in Kerala is divided into three coastal alluvium, riverine alluvium, and onachukara alluvium. About the coastal alluvium, coastal alluvium is distributed along the western coastal region in a narrow belt of 10 km. The chief constituent of the soil is recent marine sand deposits. This type of soil is dominated by sand. A hot soil is usually thin in this type of soil. The surface texture is loamy sand and sandy loam. The soil is acidic in nature, low fertile, it has rapid permeability and is deprived of organic matter and K. The second category of alluvial soil is the riverine alluvium. It occurs in almost all parts of the state, but it is extensively distributed in Kollam Talu. By the name itself, it has been developed along the river valleys. This is a very deep soil. The surface texture is sandy loam to clay loam. It doesn't have a well defined soil horizon. It has moderate organic matter, nitrogen, and potassium content. The soil is acidic in nature and is poor in lime and phosphorus content. Variation in physical chemical properties depends upon the nature of alluvium as well as the characteristics of the catchment area. The third category of alluvial soil is the Onachukura alluvium. It is found in Kartikapalli, Karnatapalli and Mavinikera Taluks of Kollam and Arapura districts. It is a marine deposit extended up to the interior lateral belt. It is a coarse textured soil with underdeveloped soil profile. It has rapid permeability, acidic in nature, very poor plant nutrients. Water holding capacity can be weakened by the addition of organic matter and irrigation facilities. 
and the cultivable crops in the soil include coconut, paddy, and tapioca. Next is the brown hydromorphic soil. It is a deep brown colored hydromorphic soil. It is found in valley bottoms of undulating topography in midland and low-lying coastal areas and also in the bedlands. It is mainly formed by the transportation of materials from adjoining hill slopes and river deposits. The texture is sandy loam to clay and pottery clay type. They have grey hard zones, hard pan, organic matter deposition, iron and manganese concentration. It has moderate organic matter, nitrogen and potassium. It is very low in lime content and phosphorus content. Then the saline hydromorphic soils. It is found in the coastal areas of Ragulam, Alapura, Trishu and Kano districts. It is a network of backwaters and estuaries bordering the coastal cells as an inlet of tidal waters to flow into these areas making it saline. During the rainy season, this area is free from soil because of leaching. The saline hydromorphic soil is a deep soil but is brownish in color and soil shows aquatic properties if they develop in areas with high groundwater level. Examples of this soil include Pokali in Anakulam district and Kaipada in Karno district. The next type is a Kotanad alluvium also known as acidic saline soil. This soil is found in Kotanada which has an area of 875 square kilometer. And Kutanad is submerged under water for a major portion of the year that it is mainly found below 1 to 2 meter below the mean sea level. Kutanad is highly vulnerable to seasonal intrusion of saline water. During monsoon, rivers bring fresh water to Kutanad. After the northeast monsoon, saline water enters the Vembanad lake and the entire region becomes saline. Kutanad soil faces the problems like acidity, salinity, and hydrology floods. Kutanada soil resembles like the characteristics of a waterlogged soil. Kutanada alluvium is again divided into three subtypes, Kyle soil, Karapadam soil, and Kari soil. The Kyle soil. The Kyle soil is distributed in the lake bed of Alapura and Kotem districts. It is dark brown in color. The white layer on the top of the soil is due to the presence of salt. The soil contains alluvial slit, clay loams bought by the rivers, then the lime shells, calcium, organic matter and some nutrients. It is a poorly drained soil and slightly acidic in nature. And the clay content in the soil increases with the depth. The second category of Kutanada alluvium is the Karapadam soil. It is mainly found in the flatlands of Upper Kutanada. This soil is formed due to the transportation work of the rivers. The area is also located below 1 to 2 meter below the mean sea level. It mainly contains clay loams, decayed organic matter, slithy clay subsoil, and little amount of nutrients. It is a poorly drained soil, high salt content, and it has a presence of decomposed organic matter. The last category is the carry soil. It is mainly found in Aragulam, Alapura and Kotem districts. It is also situated below 1 to 2 meter below the mean sea level. It is black soil. The black color is due to the presence of peat. Then the next category is the black soil. It is already found in the Chitur Taluk of Palakkad district. It is actually the extension of black cotton soil of Kaivatu district of Tamil Nadu. It is dark in color, it has low organic matter, it is calcareous in nature, it has neutral to moderate alkaline content and high clay content. It exhibits cracking during the dry summer period. It has low nitrogen and phosphorus content and moderate potassium and calcium content. A highly dispersed subtype of the soil, Pundal Padam is found in the Chitur block. Then the forest soil. Forest soil is found in the eastern tracts of the state and it is formed due to the weathering of crystalline rocks under forest cover. It is dark reddish brown to black in color. The texture is loamy to silty loam. 
and it do not have a well defined soil profile. In areas of lesser canopy, lateralization has been observed in the soil profiles. In denudic areas, leaching and decomposition of humus in lower layers is observed. Bee horizon usually contains nice gravels and boulders. It is a very fertile soil and rich in nitrogen content. These are all for today's section. Please comment your variable suggestions below this video so that I can improve in the following videos.